The objective of this demo is to demonstrate the eyeglass for Isilon Sync IQ failover for basic SRM on Fispeer environment by utilizing the Superna eyeglass API together with eyeglass pre and post failover scripts. In this short demo, we are using eyeglass version 1.5.1 that includes the eyeglass REST API feature and support of pre failover strip. The Sync IQ failover is managed through the eyeglass access zone failover and initiated by using the eyeglass API CURL command. DNS dual delegation is configured to handle name resolution for failover and failback. A best script is created and enabled as the pre failover script to shut down VM, remove VM from inventory, and unmount the NFS data store from the protected site. Another best script is created and enabled as the post failover script to remount the NFS data store on the recovery site, add VM to the inventory, and then power on the VM. This solution includes Fishbeer Management Assistant VMA appliance as the proxy between eyeglass and Fishbeer infrastructure. The pre and post failover scripts are based on executing commands on vCenter server or ESXi host through this VMA. For NFS data store, we need to add both ESXi primary and secondary host IP addresses as the client of this NFS export. Now we want to show you the setup diagram for this demo. In this diagram, we can see there are two sites, protected and recovery sites. There are two separate setups, including vCenter server ESXi host and Isilon cluster for NFS data store. iGlass will communicate to the vSphere environment through the VMA. The next diagram is the setting for prior the failover. We can see here that the protected VM is running on the NFS data store from the primary cluster. And the Sync IQ replication pair has also been configured and it is in operation to replicate data from primary to secondary cluster. The next diagram is for failover process. We will only highlight some of the numbered processes here for more details, you can refer to iGlass online documentation. Process number one, two, and three are the pre failover steps. They are executed as part of the iGlass pre failover script through the VMA. These steps are shutting down protected VM, removing VM from inventory, and unmounting the NFS data store. Process number four is to initiate failover. In this demo, we will show the example of using the iGlass API to initiate this failover process. Process number 20, 21, and 22 are the post failover steps. iGlass failover job will execute the post failover script by communicating with VMA to mount the NFS data store, up the VM into the Fishbeer Infantry and to bring up 
the VM on this recovery side. The next diagram is for fallback process. You can see here the processes are similar to failover processes, but now it is in reverse direction. Now we will run a demo for that. We can see from this window that we have created an API token for iGlass. This API key will be used as the token header for our CURL commands. And we have created a pre-failover and failback bash script to handle the powering VM off, removing VM from inventory, and unmounting the NFS data store from ESXi host. We have also created a post failover and failback bash script to handle the mounting the NF of the NFS data store, adding the VM to the FISPIR inventory and then to power on the VM. As we can see here, that we have enabled these pre and post failover scripts. So it will be executed as part of the iGlass failover procedures. Now we want to demo the iGlass access zone failover through the API CUL commands. Currently, the VM is running on the primary site. It is residing on the primary Iceland cluster. And we want to do failover so that this VM will be filled over to the secondary site. So first, we want to get the ID of the registered Isolon cluster on this iGlass appliance via the CRL command. From this API response, we can get the ID of the registered Isolon clusters. Next, based on this Iceland cluster ID, we want to get the ID of the access zone that will be filled over. So from this response, we get the ID of the access zone. And now, based on the ID of the clusters and also the ID of the access zones, we are ready to execute the failover. The API give response of the ID of the failover job. So now we also want to verify the status of this failover job. As we can see here, that the failover job has been started. So we will check again to see whether this job has been completed successfully later on. After a while, we can see here that the job has completed. Okay, from this status, the failover job has finished successfully. Now we would like to verify, verify this from FISPIR web client. 
So So this is the secondary side, the recovery side. So we will see here and verify that now the VM is up and running on this secondary side. And on the primary side, the VM has been removed from the inventory and the NFS data store has also been removed and mounted from this primary ESSI host. We can fail, follow the same step for the failback process. We just need to reverse the direction. So this is the CUI command for failback process. So for this command, we reverse the source ID, target ID, and also change the access zone ID accordingly. So now we are executing the fallback process. Again, same thing, we want to check the status of this fallback process. Okay, the failback process has been started and later on we will check again to see the final status of this process. After a while, now we want to verify the Fallback process status. We can be seen here that the fallback process has been finished successfully. And now we want to verify from the Fishbear web client. So this is the primary site. can see here that the NFS data store has been mounted to this uh, primary ESXi host and the VM has been added to this inventory and now is up and running and on the secondary side this VM actually has been removed from the inventory and the NFS data store has also been removed from the secondary site. Hope this short demo gives you an idea on how to utilizing iGlass API for basic SRM on vSphere environment with Isolon NFS data store and this solution is integrated with pre and post failover fallback iGlass script. For further information including the commands and sample scripts please refer to our Sapna iGlass online documentation. Thank you.